Thrill ride here, about to train chest, and I've got so much pre-workout running through me, I am shaking like Michael J. Fox playing Jenga on the set of the Blair Witch Project. I get this question all the time. It's, hey you, thrilly dilly, how do I train chest so I don't end up six one buck sixty? with the sunken chest that I can eat a bowl of cereal out of. So follow the patron saint of the Pumpatorium as I chisel my chest like an absolute savage. And let me tell you something, there is no better way to declare war on the pussification of America like German volume training on your pectorals. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. Do not look like a slob. Always tuck your shirt in and make that V-shaped paper pop, bro. If you ain't tucking, you ain't f***ing. So the dumbbells only go up to hundreds, no big deal, I'll bang out sets of 25. Mm -pow, mm -pow, mm -pow. Now we're gonna get things started with flat dumbbell bench press. And you'll notice that Thrilly Dilly doesn't do any barbell work. You might ask yourself why. Number one, you get more range of motion and better contraction at the top of the rep. And number two, because my joints can't take it anymore because in my 20s, I had more chemicals running through me than Johnson & Johnson during the Ebola crisis. Thrilly's a natty daddy! Moo pow, moo pow, moo pow, moo pow, moo pow, moo pow. After I've made these dumbbells my absolute bitch, I place down the dumbbells, whisper quiet. Nothing screams, hey everybody, look at me. I'm a premature ejaculator with a warm infested baby dick. Like slamming a set of dumbbells under 150 pounds in each hand. Now remember, strength is relative. You're just trying to be the best version of yourself that you can be. You're not competing with anybody except yourself. The gym, it's a safe space. No, I'm totally kidding. If some limp wristed beta male feminist brings the 35 pound dumbbells into the alpha male section, you need to pick up the biggest dumbbells in the gym, look into his eyes, and take his soul for a set of 15 and emasculate him harder than Caitlyn Jenner sitting down to pee at a Chick-fil-A. Just like this. Come up 10 floors and get on my level. Yeah, move pow, move pow, move pow. Just like we're in the library. That was easy. Take your Mickey Mouse wig and put it in the Mickey Mouse section. What if God was one of us? Din, 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 din. Just a slob like one of you. Do, 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 do. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. Oh, God. Why is it? My pectorals are pulsating harder than Jared Fogle at a youth soccer camp. Up next is dumbbell incline bench press. And most trainers will tell you the most important part of the rep is when you squeeze at the top. That's actually incorrect. The most important part of the rep is when you scream out the name of a Jack Pro wrestler with buttloads of charisma. Luger! Pow! Bagwell! set is truly its most challenging. Not because you're out of breath, but because it's difficult to come up with wrestlers who look better than I do. Paul Roma! Mm, pow! Billy Jack Haynes! Mm, pow! Firebreaker check for 1992 available! Mm, pow! Third exercise is dumbbell flies. Now you want it to be lightweight, but not too light. If you do less than 50s, you probably pack more fudge than the Sedona Chocolate Factory. Not that there's anything wrong with that, if that's your sexual orientation, or if you work at Sedona Chocolate, because we need to bring back manufacturing jobs in this country. Oh, why is it so easy? Oh, yeah. It is time to polish off this workout like a happy ending in Chinatown. So stack the weight like a true alpha, because if you don't, you probably have an upper body that's softer than a pile of mom's homemade mashed potatoes with a pear-shaped torso and more loose skin than a Sharpay puppy. Mmm, pow! Mmm, pow! 
Why is it so easy? Hey, Mark Zuckerberg, you goofy beta male bastard. I'm still waiting for Facebook's checkout feature for every time I the scene of a smash. It is time to declare war on the pussification of America and make this physique great again. Oh, yeah! See ya, dink!